When I saw all these clips of glitches in the new Mario Kart tracks, I decided to try them out for myself and try out new ones to see if they were also true. So let's get to it. The first track in the DLC is Paris Promenade. And you might have seen this glitch before. It was featured in a video by Nico BBQ. Link in description, by the way. If you have somehow not seen the video, I will show you how it works. You first go into co-op mode, then you take both players to the Eiffel Tower. After that, you leave one player there while the other goes to lap 3 of the race. The player on lap 3 will now drive to the Eiffel Tower to meet up with the other player on lap 1. This will reveal a ramp on one screen and no ramp on the other. You can actually do some crazy things with this. It occurs because Nintendo did not want to have multiple versions of a track and combine them all into one instead. They did this by having the track change to a different version of the track on lap 3. Anyways, this myth is confirmed as expected. Next is Toad Circuit, and for this track my entry is going to be, is there a glitch with the tires on Toad Circuit, since they seemed a little sus. The first couple tests didn't work, so I was just driving around, and I stumbled into a glitch right here. Watch this screen closely. Uh, I don't think that's supposed to happen, but whatever. I found a glitch with the tires, and that's all that matters. This is confirmed. Real quick, guys, if you made it this far into the video, give yourself a pat on the back, you're amazing. So let's continue now. For Chaco Mountain, I heard that you cannot get hit by the falling boulders at the end of the track. So what I'm referring to is, in Mario Kart, most enemies will either slow you down, squish you, or cause you to spin out of control. This myth is saying that the boulders don't do any of these. So let's test it now. I sat where the boulders fall for a few minutes and found that no matter where you position your car, the boulders will just simply avoid you. Who would have thought? All right, cue that music. There we go, good. So this next myth states that if you sit on the fountain in Coconut Mall, any of the fountains, then you will float in the air and sure enough, this is correct. Wow, so far we have all of our myths confirmed. Now it's time to move on to the Lucky Cat Cup. For Tokyo Blur, I do not have a myth, but I have a fun fact. And that is you can actually ricochet items off of thwomps. And for Shroom Ridge, I was struggling to find a good myth, but I eventually decided my myth would be, can you do the shortcut at the end of the race shroomless? This took me forever. I tried every angle, multiple combos, and even different characters, but I just could not get the speed or height to complete the jump, which means this myth is busted. Let me know in the comments if anyone else has done it, or if you have done it yourself, and let's move on. For Sky Garden, my myth was, can you jump across the ledge like you can in like DK Mountain? And obviously with how Mario Kart 8 Deluxe works, this was not possible. This myth is busted. For Ninja Hideaway, I had, if you hit a shy guy with a shell, it will turn into a banana. And hitting a shy guy with a shell is harder than one might think. I had poor item luck, I got struck by lightning, and they kept disappearing on me. So it took me multiple races to try and do this, but I eventually could pull it off and confirm that they do turn into bananas. And guys, we have reached the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching, if you are here right now hearing this. I really love it when people actually watch my videos instead of clicking on and off. And yeah, have a great one, and I'll see you next time.